the Aikido secrets Steven Seagal hid from everyone. For most of us, Steven Seagal was the guy why we joined Aikido. He was the kick-ass guy who was just flipping people around and you were watching the films and thinking, how did he do that? And as a good teacher, every good teacher will teach his students only 90% of things that he knows. And here are the 10% that you didn't know. So the first one that you've seen in all the films, but you didn't see what he was doing really, is the position of his hands. Where does he put his hands? Does he keep them like this? Or like that? No, actually, he puts them in a very neutral place. This place is non-threatening to the opponent. They don't know what's going on. They could be talking like this for hours. However, he's in a very good place to initiate some kind of attack from here, to deflect or attack or to move do other bits and pieces. So position of your hands. When it comes to street fighting, you wanna keep your hands in here because if you're too close to someone, you're keeping the distance from the headbutt, this is here. If someone is going to punch, this is here. You wanna be safe. Also, because you're gonna get scared when you get in a fight. So this helps you to remember to keep breathing because actually your hands are on your solar plexus and you'll be going, <laughs> I'm scared, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight. But through this, you'll remember, keep your breathing under control. If you do that, you're half of the way towards winning. So what you see in this scene is Steven Seagal uh, facing an opponent. There is a bit of a, you know, banter sort of conversation kind of thing and he's just standing here waiting and actually being ready to deal with the situation. And what happens in there, he just, they just talking and blah, 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 blah. And then Steven Seagal sort of initiates it. So the attack actually starts when you say it starts. So if there is nothing else I can do, and I know that he's gonna punch me, I might just choose the time when he's gonna punch me. So that there is a bit of a push, then he goes from this, that, that goes down more of top of a Wing Chun style that goes here, which pushes him back slightly a bit. And then he just goes bang and just kicks him off. The second secret is you've seen it all when he goes bang, 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 kind of like moving his hands so fast that you don't even know how he got into the technique. Most of his videos or even films or early videos when he was training, he just goes bang, bang, bang and just person goes down and you don't actually even know how it happened. Even when you try to slow it down, you can still hardly see what is actually going on in there. However, I tried to look into all the details and I found that this actually is partially Wing Chun and is the manipulation of the hands of and, and the head movement, uh, sort of alignment and disalignment of the hips. So moving the hips. So when, when, when he's punching here, he, he goes there and he just goes this way and then he just punches in, right? So loads of those things that the deflection when it happens is, is either circular movement out and then moving the elbows in and then going back in or it's, it's actually just a sort of deflection from this side and that side. So what you actually see is He's sort of standing here and punching and both people are trying to punch each other. Now you could be practicing this for a long time. He would all, all, also just go with one hand and just try to free up the space. So sometimes you just see him just going here. Uh, that, this could be sort of boxing kind of thing when, when you just kind of go here trying to just wait for the attacker to get in or it, it, it could be a Wing Chun. However, it's just Basically, you learn how to manipulate the punches. So you are actually in a safe place. I'm too, see, see this? Like, when I was just trying to punch with the right hand, and I'm here, he's too far for the left one. So I can just come in before he gets in, yeah? So all of those things. Now, there are two ways. He goes from the outside, here, and he also goes from the inside. which gets in, yeah? So training this for a long time, you probably get very, very good at this. And you will be able to use, the, use this towards 
actually getting into techniques. So if someone is punching, not like in traditional Aikido, we're leaving the punch here and then kind of trying to do a technique in here. No, he just goes in and then he's, he's fast and he's in, yeah? So you also see many, many times that he just goes bang, bang and, and just like this comes in and then that comes in. So it's just the manipulation of the hands. Now, it's also about your hips. If you're just standing here, it's gonna be hard to just move. So he would be getting from the side and then sometimes maybe even this comes in, yeah, before. Or you could just see him actually going for the legs as well and then this then comes in. So many different things, but really it's the manipulation of the hands. The third secret is he is incorporating other martial arts into what he's doing and into what you see in the films. I've already mentioned Wing Chun. What I didn't mention is that when you, know, when you see them doing the sticky hands kind of thing and they just go here and then just all of that sort of and blah, 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 blah. They're also using kicks. And all these short kicks that he's doing, kind of like that thing and that thing and coming back, really sort of fast, short, so he doesn't actually, he doesn't do any round kicks and stuff like that. So it's all very much just distraction, you know, here, just here. So it distracts the person or takes them down. So he's fighting up here, blah, 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 something is happening and then he just goes here and then he's on top of the person, right? So in this particular clip, you see him using, uh, this, is a, this is a fight in, the, um, in a pool bar where they have, you know, the, 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 the sticks in there and he just, they just call this guy called Sticks and he's like, oh, come on, beat the hell out of him. And they just end up having this fight with his kind of sticks and they just both swing it in the air. And this is actually Arnis, which is Filipino martial arts. So he has managed to incorporate that into what he's doing as well. It, it has been seen in not just one film, but quite a few more. Knife fighting. You see him in Under Siege, in a fight with Tommy Lee Jones, with a knife, they're moving around. He's got some excellent moves. Obviously ends up killing Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> but uh, during the fact that actually knife, uh, knife crime is, is on the rise, we can't actually show you any of those things because this kind of belongs more towards type of a special forces training and there isn't much of this out there. We only show this and teach this to a students that we can trust, that we know that they're not gonna overuse this. So in some of the later films, you see some Kung Fu-like moves that he's got. So he would be standing there and just doing, I don't know, the crane and stuff like that and the tiger kind of thing. So he, incorporated some of those things into his later films. Some of you might like it, some of you might not, but this is what I see in the later films. So Kung Fu. <laughs> Another secret is his confidence. Whenever you get into any situation, if you're confident, most likely the fight will not happen because the other person will know that you know something and they will think twice about attacking you. Now, when it comes to his films, he always comes in, he's always ready to fight, he's always focused, he just never back down, you know, he's just going for it, he's just confident, it's like, okay, well, you know, you, know, you wanna pick some of me or something and he just goes for it. So the same situation happened, again, you know, you know we, you we want, have mate. the situation. You know you are, you ain't even from here, mate. Yeah, you're yeah, 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 hey, listen, now, mate. mate, I mean, we both get hurt, it's not worth it. How about we just pop into the pub and have a drink? But you're you know? dying, mate. Yeah, right. <laughs> nice one. I had the first one, you have the second one. Let's go. Same thing is if all else fails. You see him in, in this film, he's just sort of beating up a guy and then he's just this massive guy uh, is saying, you've beaten up my friend, man. And he just goes, that's it, that happens. He just turns and he goes, bang into a solar plexus. That's like a really strong punch that goes there. The guy goes down, enough, yeah? So he's using a bit of a deception in there as well because this guy didn't know what was, what was gonna happen and this was just coming here, right? So confidence is one of the four most important things that you can apply in any situation. So we hope you enjoy these Steven Seagal secrets and uh, let us know what you think. We'll be happy to see your comments and we shall see you next time.